Well, perhaps no fighter in the game understands how to control distance as well as this Southpaw Conor McGregor. And you gotta be mindful of what's coming your way in the early going. This is a man who knocked out Jose Aldo in 13 seconds, has a three and a half second knockout to his credit as well. We'll see if McGregor can take advantage of his reach as here in the early going. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's gonna be the last man standing. Beautiful right hand over the top. The center line slips the punch. Just missed with the left there. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed and placed there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Big power shot there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Nice. Oh, this place is going nuts. We got a brawl on our hands, folks. The fans are out of their seat. These guys are kidnapped. So more output, at least in the early going. Man, that's a stinging jab. You can tell he's been boxing his whole life. Yeah, and I mean, it's hot over and over. He's throwing it. And he's a boxer, so he throws it from a little bit of a different stance. So it's not something the MMA fighter is used to seeing. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Nice shot there by the champ. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Choi's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. Push kick there to the body. Well, he's looking for that left hand. Just out of range, though, with it. Oh, nice. Well, Conor McGregor's hand. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. In fight numbers for you now, 29 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Leg kick lands. Oh! Nice body shot. Conor McGregor going for the leg kick. He does not connect. It's a pretty fast jab. Right hook to the head block. He has to evade stance base. Big right hand lands. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Now we're going. Oh, misses with the jab. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by McGregor. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot that will finish the fight. Hands high, hands high. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. 15 seconds to go. Oh, Round two is next. All right, 
Wyatt heading back to the corner now, and Choi is bleeding from the forehead a little bit, so we'll keep an eye on that as the fight continues. Hopefully the cut man can do his work and get it under control so it doesn't bleed down into the fighter's eyes. All right, so he survives to the stool, but he's going to need a plastic surgeon on Monday. Let us show you some of the strikes that caused that damage above the eye. Just beautiful striking on display. He found the target constantly. He opened up a big cut above the eye, and now he sees that he's got a wounded opponent in front of him. He is going to target that eye even more in this next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two is underway. So as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other... How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Nice leg kick. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hand is there over the top. Oh, that strike to the body, man. Trying to kick the leg out. Shot to the body. Really bad. Oh my goodness! Shots open. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success. Was more you know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Well, everybody wants a piece of Conor McGregor, of course, including his opponent here tonight. But what else can you say about McGregor's ability to manage his time and everything that has been asked of him since he vaulted to not just MMA superstardom, but A-list celebrity status. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. McGregor's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps they're on the bridge. Punch to the head. That is a damaging kick that lands. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. Now some uppercuts. He better move, John. He cannot take these uppercuts from this position. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Oh, strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. There it is. He's cut. Get the elbow. Come on. Sure is from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. The big shots being landed on both sides here. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. 
Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work. Oh! Perfect. Twenty seconds left to go in round two. Final seconds. With a body in it lands. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, well, the cut man has got his work cut out for him, and I believe we have isolated the shot that caused that critical cut above the eye. I mean, right above the eye, John. Too many damaging blows. He's got to change something because now every time he gets hit above the eye, the blood will start to leak in his eye, making it almost impossible to fight. Round three of a possible five. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets up. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed anything. That's a over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making thinkers going low, and it's a fight over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, blood's in the water. You gotta go and get it. You gotta go find the finish. You cannot let him rock the boat like that, because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you at Wow, both of them are landing massive shots. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. Good jab there by the champion. Choice. Take an aim at that cut right now. A strong decision by him to land strikes on an area that he has already done significant damage on. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Under the and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Big left hand lands upstairs. Oh, nice body shot. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, McGregor's nose is just donating blood by the second here. I'm not so sure that nose isn't broken, DC. Big knee to the body. Oh. He's, a he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Well, he continues. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. 
Yet again, rinse and repeat, targeting that swelling, and you gotta think this is gonna start to affect his performance now. Yeah, it, it's at a point now, John, where he's gonna start to get desperate. He's gonna start to make some mistakes because this swelling is not just minor anymore. We're starting to get into the major territory. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Oh, McGregor's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut's not getting any better. We got the best cut men in the game. Gotta think they're gonna be busy in between rounds. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, and that is a pinpoint left hand right there for McGregor. It is. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. 20 seconds left. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Using his length in that situation. Choi's nose is bleeding. Oh, no. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round of fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your... Oh! Oh! Fourth we go, it takes two to tango, and man, at least two individuals tango tonight. I might run it back at some point, no matter how this one goes. It's one of those fights, but when you look at these two, and the damage on their faces, the work that they have both put in, you realize and you appreciate what these fighters do inside the octagon. They're both hurt, they're both beat up, and both of these guys have shown a tremendous amount of resilience to put themselves in position to win this fight. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, McGregor's blocking well now. Made the adjustment. Oh! Oh! Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Just out of range with that left hook. Let's go. Let's open up that cup a little bit more. Almost in range with the straight left hook. That's a good all right, well, things are getting critical now. A lot of damage, a lot of blood in and around that eye. You could stop this fight right now. You can stop it right now. I mean, I don't understand what anyone's waiting for. They're giving this guy a chance, but if he doesn't do something different defensively, it won't last much longer. Oh, the damage just continues to be inflicted. And with respect to the athletes, if this was a movie, I might just walk out. I don't need to see anything. I mean, I just don't need to see it. it, it it's too... Strikes continue to land. All right, full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating. You need to be framing. You need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. 
Joy gets back up. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Under two minutes to go. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from... Oh, that is going to do it! Huh? Do Ho Choi! With one of the greatest knockouts you will see! The official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by...